Hello everyone, Justin GQ back with you again. We are here with Everglow La Di Da music video and I'm going to do the dance practice as well. First time checking out this group. I, again, like with several K-pop groups, it's very possible that I would know a name or two from this group um, if I saw the names, but I'm going in blind here. I, I've seen a lot of shorts, a lot of, uh, you know, overall K-pop videos, but uh, I don't always put names with faces very well. Uh, it takes some time for me to learn everything. So I'm going into this blind. This was recommended to me. Please feel free to give me uh, comments in whatever video, in a community post, anywhere. I read all of my comments. 100% of the comments on my videos and posts, I read them. So if you have a suggestion for another group or another song for me to check out, I'd be happy to do it. Uh, link to the original videos will be in this, the description below. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe as you see fit. First time listening to Everglow. I was told that I'm going to more or less lose my mind over this. The thumbnail was beautiful. So let's get into this and see what we have. That's a beautiful shot. Wow. Okay, so six members. Six members, okay? Already like the retro vibes. I'm going to go back because I was not ready for that. I don't know how anyone could be. Okay. <laughs> All right. I love the retro sound. I have been, I've literally been listening to watching reactions to Dub Chang switch to me. Uh, all morning, so I am in that retro mood already. Let's get it. I think I found the thumbnail already. there. She looks like a cross between, she actually looks like a cross between Yeji and Rujin from Itzy a little bit. That was what I thought when I first clicked on the thumbnail. I like the sound. I like the vocals. I think the vocals are a little bit too far back. I think the sound, I think the music itself, the instrumentation is a little bit too far forward and the vocals are too far back. I think they need to be evened up a little bit more. It sounds like it sounds like she's a, they're away from the mic when they're singing or that they didn't put it they didn't put the vocals far enough forward in the mix. Hopefully it doesn't stay that way, but it sounds that way so far and they might just have very soft voices. I try never to pause during the chorus. I try to go through the chorus all at one time. It's probably not going to happen when Twice's music video drops later this week, but I like it. I, I definitely like, and, the, and the, the vocals did kind of come forward a little bit more in the chorus, it sounded like, so I'm happy with that. This retro sound is everything. I, I love the sound of the, the song. A little bit too much la-di-da in the, the chorus. I try to, and I know that that's kind of the way K-pop is in general, I try to find a little bit more substance lyrically most of the time, but I know that a lot of K-pop is just high energy and 
you know, catchy stuff, which this definitely is. So I'm not upset about that at all. Uh, I like it. I like the pre-chorus. I want to go back and listen to the pre-chorus as well. She's very pretty. They all are. She's gorgeous as well. Um, I'm going to go back and check the pre-chorus out because I like the pre-chorus a lot as well. And then go through the chorus and we're going to just keep going right through. <laughs> I said we were going to go on through. Really like the vocals in that chorus. I don't know if she's going to be the one doing the vocals each time in the chorus or if they're going to change it up, but I really liked her. The girl the girl in the hoodie standing next to the car really liked her vocals. I want to go back and listen to them one more time. That was unnecessary, by the way. <laughs> was she the same one from the chorus? Because I really, really, really like her vocals. I think these are my two favorites, by the way. They were they were back to back. Um, no, they weren't back to back. The the blonde was in the pre-chorus, but I think she was in the pre-chorus as well, um, in the first verse anyway. I, those I think I think I think this one and or whoever it was singing in the chorus. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm new. I'm new. I'm brand new. Never listened to them before. Um, their vocalists in general are really, really good. The girl with the black hair is definitely one of my favorites, though. Her. ready for a dance break. <laughs> oh, let's go. note going up coming into the last chorus really liked that really liked it Okay, y'all didn't have to go Matrix on this. I haven't been commenting much on the music video itself because I've been struck by the visuals, struck by the sound. The music video is really well shot. I love how it goes back and forth between black and white and, and the color. And there are a lot of colors here, so this is, this is fantastically shot in my opinion. Um, 
really like this but then they went matrix on us with that with that slow-mo shot literally looks like when trinity is is you know falling out of the window or jumping out of the window when she's shooting at the agent in the very first scene from the matrix looks fantastic this is this is really well done they didn't have to go that hard and they did and i'm thankful for it so let's watch that again love the lighting in this scene too i'm sorry i'll stop pausing and rewinding but i really feel like i'm not talking about the music video enough and uh, i i really do like it i really I, I think it's really well shot i'm just i'm enamored by the the visuals and the the song itself so Also, if you think that I paid attention to the lyrics during the verses, you thought wrong. I'm going to have to go back and look at the lyrics for this later. Not going to do it right now. Love the song. Absolutely love the song. Uh, they're, they're very good vocalists. I really like the beat. Music video is very well shot. I'm going to go ahead and switch right over to the dance practice here and get into that and see how they do here. I wonder if they're going to have backup dancers for this because they had backup dancers in the music video. Okay, it's just them. Very interesting formation to start. So I can already tell a couple of things right off the bat. And, and guys, I'm not a dancer. I'm not a dancer. I've watched a lot of choreography. I love dance. I just, I haven't, I think I could be a halfway decent dancer. I have never put the time into it. I really never have. I've actually wanted to take dance classes and such, but I have just never put the time into it. I think it's very interesting the way that they're doing the formations here because the way that I've uh, commented on formations and group sizes before is that usually I like to see, uh, when it comes to dance practices, having an odd number of members. They have an even number of members. So what they're doing here is moving one off to the side and then they have the other five dancers, and, and this may be the only time that they do it, but they have the other five dancing and they have the one in the middle and then two on each side while the other one is moving around and then at another part they have the center forward or at least the person who's center at that time forward and then one person directly behind while they have two on each side it keeps the balance very very well i like how that's done when i saw that there were six members this was actually the first thing that i thought i thought okay how is this choreography going to work out with the person in the center I didn't notice it too much in the music video because again, I just I was struck by the song and the visuals so much. But now that I'm seeing, you know, just the dance practice itself, I like the way that they're doing the formations. I think that's a very intelligent way to do that. I also was not expecting them to start on the floor. So that was and they went they probably went as long on the floor as I've ever seen to this point in K-pop. Now, if I'm being honest, outside of twice music videos, I probably haven't watched 30 total music videos, maybe 40. So there's a lot of stuff left for me to get to. But this is probably the longest I've ever seen a group spend on the floor for choreography. And, uh, and they did it very well. So let's continue. Mm -hmm. 
See, and at first, and I'm sorry, I won't pause. I'll try not to pause so much, but I'm just trying to make sure that I share my thoughts as I have them. I was almost afraid, and I was watching her because I, I thought, well, maybe she's, maybe they're putting her in the back on purpose because she's uh, one of the lesser dancers in the group. But um, the girl who who was behind before ended up coming center and um, and doing her next part. So that was an easy transition for them. Uh, just to have her come forward in the formation, so uh, that was that was that was pretty well done. And she looks like she's a good dancer, right here, the the girl in the Adidas. So uh, another thing that I'm noticing is that they'll have, they'll have them be side by side, uh, and that's another good way to to do an even number of members is to have the person who's currently center and the person who's about to be side by side, and it's an easy transition from one to the other, like what they just showed here. I I, I like how they did that, right here. I like how smoothly they came up from that. That's some core strength right there, folks. And again, with the one person coming around the back. I'll, I'll say this, and I don't think I don't think I dislike it, but I'm surprised at how often they're using the girl coming around, coming around, and coming around. I I almost think it's being overused. I don't dislike it because it is an intuitive way to work with the even number of members. Um, with again, like I was saying earlier, but I'm surprised that it just it got done like literally two times in a row just now. So I, eh, it's all right, I guess. Uh, but I was surprised to see it again two times like in a row. I thought maybe one time each verse would have been, you know, kind of like, oh, well, they're doing something similar to what they did before. But of course, the choreography is different. Um, but then they did it like back to back. And I was like, oh, I don't know how I feel about that one. I like the way that transitioned to where they they all swooped up and the girl was on the floor in the center in front. I like how they're using the 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 one in the front bending down and the back one the back one standing up and then kind of going back and forth between the the front and the back. Twice did that with uh, the cry for me choreography, um, which they did because 
and I, I need to look and see if they still do it with all nine because at the time that they that they recorded the choreography, um, they had eight because Jung Yeon wasn't there. So I'm curious to see. I need to go back to the the concert videos and see if they did it with all nine the same way or not. But uh, but I like I like the way that it's done here. <clears throat> I think I wanted a little bit more of a demonstrative movement to come back in from the other five members here whenever the, the music stopped and it was getting ready to, to, to come back in with the drop. I think I wanted a little bit more of a demonstrative, a little just oh, a little bit more oomph to it whenever they came back in. But um, again, it's not it's not these girls. It's the choreographer. It's the person who came up with this dance. So it's not them. I hope that any of the comments that y'all are hearing from me in the choreography, referring to the choreography itself, um, you know, like earlier whenever I said the same person's coming, or you know, they were doing the same transition like two times in a row during the second verse where the one girl was walking around. Um, that's not the girls. They're doing fine. They're doing wonderfully. I was trying actually to pick out who I thought might have been the least uh, skilled dancer, and I thought it was the girl with the short hair, who I think is one of the vocalists, um, one of the main vocalists. But uh, but then I watched her for like the next five to ten seconds straight, and like she was she was just hitting everything like really well. So I don't even know if she's one of the least dancers. Uh, so they're 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 all really strong. They do a good job. Uh, it's just just things that I'm noticing. Uh, so don't take it any other way. I like it. I'm here for Everglow. I saw a music video off to the side that looked like it had actually way more views than La Di Da. It might have been Dun 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 or something like that. Um, and I'll definitely be checking that out as well. I like the sound. Very strong vocalist. I love the retro vibe of this song. I don't know how, how often they, they keep that up. But uh, the fact that this was the first song was definitely enough, more than enough, to make me want to come back for more. So I'll be checking out more Everglow. Um, please let me know some comments, uh, some, some things about them in the comments below. Uh, send me a guide if you want to. I'm fine with that. I still need to watch a guide on TXT. Um, so I'm here for this. There's a guide on a lot of groups that I need to watch. So I'll be doing that at some point. But again, it's twice comeback week. Although the, the, the teasers are going to be pretty small. So until the weekend, I should have some time freed up. Uh, I've got some twice content coming as well. So anyway... I'm going to get out of here. Really enjoyed this. Great first song. Thank you to whoever re recommended that. Fantastic. You did a wonderful job recommending this one. I really like them. Uh, but I'm going to get out of here. Jesus loves you. I love you. We'll see you in the next video. And I hope you have a great day.